What's up guys, Sal here. So the Galaxy S23 Ultra with TSMC manufactured chips will fix two things, performance and battery life. Not saying the S22 Ultra has bad battery life, but compared to its iPhone counterpart, there's surely room for improvement. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip will make sure the S23 Ultra will come closer to iPhones in giving better battery life if not beat them. Now the S23 Ultra will have a nice trick up its sleeve that will make sure you get the best battery life for those opportunities where you need to save battery life. And it's called Light Performance Mode. Some of you may already know what this feature does, but for those who are hearing it for the first time, the Light Mode is designed to help save the handset's battery life and run it cooler. You might ask, how is this different from the usual battery saver mode we already have in One UI? Well, there's a huge difference and it all boils down to what they actually limit. You see, the battery saver mode that we already have on our phones limits the screen refresh rate to 60Hz, limits the background tasks and more, so basically it cripples the handset. But the light mode doesn't do any of that. It doesn't disable any feature, it doesn't limit the 120Hz refresh rate, and it doesn't limit the background process. All it does, it reduces the clock speed of the chipset by a couple of hundred megahertz, basically matching the performance of last year's chipset while keeping every feature intact. The last few hundred megahertz of the chipset are the one that consumes a lot of power, so reducing it is a smart way of saving battery life because you're not losing any significant performance, but you're gaining a lot of efficiencies and hence a better battery life. Now I'm not saying you should turn this feature on when you get the phone because the S23 Ultra will get you through a day of use with ease in standard mode. But there will be situations where you need to save battery life and in those days you should use this feature than crippling your phone with the usual battery saver mode. Moving on, for those who still have doubts that Samsung is ditching Exynos and going all in with Snapdragon chips worldwide for the S23, here's another confirmation from Qualcomm's chief financial officer where he mentions that Samsung will increase the usage of Snapdragon chips from 75% on the S22 to 100% on the Galaxy S23, which is great news for folks over at Europe. Now, speaking of the Snapdragon chip, here's a summary of what you can expect from the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 on the S23. It's not just a typical annual refresh, but you'll see some significant year-over-year -year upgrade in CPU, GPU, ISP, AI, and more. And finally, we have some updated information about the unpacked event. A reputed South Korean publication reports that the unpacked event will take place in the first week of February and the release date will be around the 17th of February. Samsung will unveil the S23 handsets at the event and unlike last year, they won't release any tablets at the event. To see Samsung poking fun at Apple yet again, click here and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.